what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel it is silver monique and yes i am back with another diy video as y'all can see from this video and from the title we are about to take this oversized t-shirt and turn it into a jumpsuit yes a jumpsuit so if you guys are ready let's go ahead and get this video started so first thing first i'm using some spandex shorts as my template and i'm going to go ahead and just trace around it leaving at least an inch seam allowance and also i want to recommend that you guys make the shorts shorter just to leave enough space for the top so that it is long enough so don't do what i did and made it make it the same length you want to make your shorts shorter so that you have enough fabric for the top so you guys will see what i'm talking about as you continue to watch my video So this shirt that I got y'all, I got it from Walmart in the men's section and it was for $10. It's one of those Dickies brands t-shirt. It's pretty stretchy and the size that I got was a 3XL and if you are a size medium like me, you definitely want to get a 3XL so that you have enough fabric to work with. Alright, so once I was done outlining the shorts, I went ahead and made sure that the top was even and that they both were lined up the exact same length. Once everything was traced out and even, I started cutting out my patterns. All right, so now I'm taking my shorts and I'm placing the right size together so I can get them ready to sew. And I'm just gonna pin the inner crotch part of the shorts together and then take it to my sewing machine and do, you can do either a straight stitch or you can do a zigzag stitch. So I actually used my serger machine and this is how the shorts turned out. And now I'm going to open them up and place them right sides together and sew the outside as well as the inner crotch area. All right, so now I'm about to just start working with the top part. And this is what's left after I had cut the shorts part out of the t-shirt. And we have this little pocket on the shirt and I am just seam ripping this off. I don't want this pocket and it's just going to be in the way for when I cut out my pattern. All right, so now that the pocket is gone, I'm going to take a t-shirt that is real fitted on me. And I'm going to use this as my outline for the top part of my jumpsuit. And like with everything else, I'm just going to leave at least an inch of seam allowance all the way around. All right, so now that that is traced out, I'm going to go ahead and just cut out my pattern. And this top was a little too short that's why I said in the beginning to make your shorts shorter so that you have more room for your top so that it's not so short when you add the pieces together all right so now that my pieces are cut out I laid them right size touching and then I sew the top part of the top together and then once you're done it should look something like this and now I got my sleeve pattern and I'm going to sew that onto the area where the sleeve goes and I didn't show you guys how I got my patterns for my sleeves, but I basically just used the sleeves that came with the shirt and just made them smaller. Alright, so this is what the top is looking like so far. And I was honestly upset with how short the top is. You guys can see that it's very short and that is why in the beginning of the video I said to make sure that when you are tracing out the bottoms that you make it short so that you leave enough room to make your top longer okay so now we're going to go up and finish up the top and sew this part with a straight stitch or a zigzag stitch or if you got a serger machine go ahead and use that too all 
great so now I went ahead and cut the center front of my top and this is where I will be adding my zipper Alright, so once I was done sewing my zipper onto my top, I wanted to go ahead and do a top stitch and I took it to my sewing machine and did a straight stitch all the way around. So I'm just taking my time with sewing this zipper onto my top because I want to make sure that everything is lined up. And also with doing this top stitch, I just want to make sure that my stitches are straight and not crooked. So once I was done sewing the zipper onto my top, this is how it turned out. Now if you decide to do this DIY at home, remember how I said in the beginning of this video to make the shorts shorter so that you can leave more room for the top. And if you did, you can continue doing this step. But if you didn't, then most likely it's going to be too small for you. It's not going to be long enough to fit you because this was not long enough to fit me. And so I had um, connected the top and the bottom parts together. Once I was done with that, I tried the outfit on and I had to go back and take it apart and add more fabric to the middle part of it, just so that this jumpsuit can fit me. But you guys will see, see how it looks now. This is the completed look. I went ahead and tried it on it did not fit me so now I grabbed some fabric that I found and this is all the fabric I had left and so I had to make it work and so this is what I will be using to add to the middle part of my jumpsuit so that it is long enough to fit me and honestly this is just me freestyling I didn't know how it was gonna turn out but it actually turned out pretty good so yes you guys just keep watching and see what I do with this Alright, so this is the final look and I'm so happy how it turned out. I'm so happy that I was able to make it work. But let's go ahead and try this on so you guys can get a better look. I really hope that you guys like the way this jumpsuit turned out. 
and here is the before and after again so you guys can get a better look of how I transformed this t-shirt into this jumpsuit let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below and if you enjoyed this video make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe and I will catch you all on the next video thanks for tuning in